should be. You've got more of it than anybody else. And yeah. I understand they see lots of American TV shows in Japan. Yes, but they have to use very powerful binoculars. <laughs> Throughout the ages, Japanese men and women have always bowed. Yes, but it was never in fun until they started wearing mini skirts. Hey, Dan, boy, did I have a wild party at my place last night. Good. Everybody I invited showed up, wonderful. and she was wonderful. Oh. Hey, talking of mechanics. Yeah. My mechanic has just found out why my car doesn't run right. Why not? It has gas. Oh. <laughs> I hear Bob Hope and Ben Crosby going to form a new rock group. What are they going to call him? Jefferson Wheelchair. <laughs> that in the past three years, most of the Supreme Court decisions have been made by President Nixon? You know, last weekend, my boyfriend took me to a ski resort. <laughs> or, or was it down to the beach? Well, what's the difference? We had a terrific time! <laughs> what sings and makes great sandwiches? I don't know, what? The Grand Front... <laughs> the Grand Funk Frickety! I live in a real swinging apartment house. Even the welcome wagon stays all night. Hey, Alan. What could it be this time, little Anne? Well, listen to this. Men's fashions are getting out of hand. First it was purses, now it's your high-heeled shoes. I know. Last night I went to a party and I was wearing the same thing my girl had on. <laughs> Ricardo, how would you solve the economic problems of the country? Oh, well, it's simple. See, I'd do what Japan and Germany did. I just lose a war to America. <laughs> A lot of us women were marching in the streets trying to get liberated. Right. And there were also a lot walking in the streets trying to get captured. Hey, think of that. You know, Sparrow Agnew says a black man could become vice president. That's right. There he goes, putting us down again. 